You said something that you see that man right there. Tupac. Mm -hmm. You see him? Yeah, young boy got you him. Had, you had you know, I, I heard the statement, I just I just cut the damn video off. Young boy got more plastic on. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. He don't, yeah, he don't know these new girls got <laughs> on fans. They, they yeah, got yeah. more money than yeah, them. Yeah, they said that. They, they said that on the show. Yeah. Twisted said that. Said these women nowadays is a totally different breed from back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he been gone for 17 years. Yeah, that nigga, What you think lot. about him, man? Like, dealing with him. I know you went over there and. I and can't did. explain shit to him. Why he trying to figure it out? I know, no, that's my dog. I talked to him all the time. He just, he, he, he got a, I told him. He too. listened to you. He'll listen. I told him, I said, look, you bigger than rap now. Yeah. Oh, you gave him that speech? Yes. <laughs> I know that speech. You know, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, Rain, I know, Rain, but, but still had that producer Kyle. <laughs> and then I said, I said, listen, to, to, before you drop your album, man, my album out. It is, damn! You should have held it, cause you didn't get the promotion. It's not, and I and I know you understand, but he if, if he drop an album right now, right, then on the flip side he come back and say, "Hey, it's Fort Worth, I got twenty thousand for the hottest artists in the city to come sign to sign to me." Right? He gonna get more. He gonna get more love on this post than this post. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think about how many people tag the hottest artists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Do you you say some of the stuff down here that just well, I've heard you say some disturbing, some very disturbing things. You said something that you see that man right there? Tupac. Mm -hmm. You see him? Yeah, young boy got you him. Had, you had you know, I, I heard the statement, I just I just cut the damn video off. Young boy I, got more plastic on. I said, man, is this man crazy? Young boy is more Do you understand what this man was doing um, and the tonality and the and the and, and how he rapped and the way he touched people's lives and the people, the kids we're not and the women we're not talking and the impact. We're it's not bigger than music. You just yeah, said but it's we're bigger not, than music. But we're not talking about the style and who went harder. We're talking about the numbers. So you saying he got he got more oh, yeah. plaques? Yeah, 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 yeah more, more plaques, plaque, more platinum more albums. Hits. Yeah, yeah. And he hasn't even touched movies. And he ain't even took twenty five. <laughs> let me tell you like this: Drake on the way to pass me Michael Jackson. Yeah, you can't say nothing about that, King. I don't. I don't know about that. You, he'll never be able to touch Michael Jackson. On number wise, no, performance wise, for damn. Man, damn we talking about number wise, man, performance. Man. Because I'm talking about how far, as, far is he from far number wise? When he oh, show up, if, we, if, if Drake right show there, up right and right Michael there. Jackson show up, yeah, yeah, Michael Jackson gonna win. It's gonna be like if Tupac show up and, and them boys show up. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Tupac gonna win. Nah, no, he ain't no. cause NBA young boy don't he, come out. He real late. He don't play no game. But the difference but, 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 is, but when he come out, those kids gonna be. Yeah, it, but that's what you just said, kids. The difference is Tupac. Ain't okay, have no kids. No kids. The world, so some the world, kids right? love Tupac because of yeah, their my parents. My daughter love him. Kids love. She eighteen. She eighteen. Yeah, kids she loved him since she was little. So you got twenty five. You, you got for young boy. You got young boys on the kids. I, no hell no. I know thirty on year olds try to act like young boys. The tight pants and no. Yeah, yeah I seen <laughs> That's a, a young, handful. I seen a I seen a young nigga try to try to act like young boys. So at the end of the day, Kylie tell the slime and shit. No. Yeah, you know you don't seen the old nigga come over and sound like a, <laughs> trying to talk like a young boy. Like straight up gang, some of the gang shit, not nah, let us yeah, yeah, you don't seen a thirty year old nigga come over here talking about some gang shit. Man, no, ain't no way, man. Man, it, the NBA young boy, he's a good rapper and he's a good guy, and I respect what he's done in his era. But he's no Tupac at all. He couldn't touch him with a ten foot it, it, It's just the numbers better. That's the what I, I'm not gonna. I no hell no. You didn't see all of. Well, what's recorded, yeah, but the impact, you can't even count numbers when you start talking about impact, and you and I both know that. The numbers, this is, I, mean, I know more people that went to jail for listening to to young boy. He have influenced the kids to kill each other. He have influenced, y'all know how many people died off young boy? He got kids walking around here killing each other. And Tupac did too. Tupac had people want to be want to be gangsters. He the one you wouldn't yeah. had all these shirts off and all that. That's Tupac. Shirts off come from Tupac. Maybe it was, not in Texas. It was hot. <laughs> it was Tupac, man. It was hot. So Tupac, yeah. so Tupac influenced. So 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 without Tupac, Big S would have a shirt on. No, he wouldn't have a shirt on. <laughs> Rick Ross either. 
Okay. <laughs> I gotta ask you something. So we better let him get out of here. Yeah, I know. But um, where did you know how rappers love to wear like a lot of jewelry and the way how they dress and stuff like that? Oh, uh, here we where go. Did that, where did that come from? Where do you think that came Boosie. from? No, no, I'm talking rappers. Period. When the rap game started, Boosie. and oh, they used, and they used to wear all of this stuff. Where do you think Mr. all T, of that came T. from? Didn't no, Mr. T. It, mm -hmm. it wasn't Mr. T. It wasn't Muscle that. It was pimping. It was pimping pimps. Who pimps. pimps? We've been interviewing these pimps lately, and that's uh, where it come from. Mm -hmm. They, I looked at this style, you think the about Rolls Royces, the fans, and this. Them niggas got it, bro. We they interviewed this guy. Real. He said, um, "Mr. T got it from. Um, he used to Don be the one. driver from Don one. for Don one. The bling bling. We brought it to the table. You know, Bishop." You see Mr. T? All that jewelry Mr. T? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It came from Bishop. Bishop? Hmm. That's really? Bishop how does how did I, I T, thought he was way You know back. you owe Bishop that money, take up that money. He owe money? He won't pay. <laughs> you know, Mr. T was a good brother, but he came out of the neighborhood one was working at Dean Bass at the time. You know, he was Bishop bodyguard at first. Mm -hmm. Huh. His security. Matter of fact, he owes some money. So, so, so let me mm -hmm. ask you a question. So, y'all up here interviewing pimps? <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, in, uh, in Chicago, that's where it's. it's yeah, you should have asked them why is pimps getting these girls pregnant. That's a part of the game. Mm hmm. What the they, they they freaking? They want some ass too. <laughs> no, not it. The thing is that they want to get pregnant. They want to get pregnant by their pimp. They because they can't, just like what you talk about, like in the music game, when you have all these other guys getting some of these females' head, they try to run stuff. If they the ones in their heads, they control uh -huh. everything. And also, they are only used to dealing with those type of women. They don't know how to deal with. They yeah. call it simple girls or green girls. Yeah, and that's how I was growing. How I, was. I don't know how to deal with no grown lady. See, and so look, let me ask you a question. So. How you feel about these pimps up here fucking these girls on OnlyFans? Well, I don't be watching. They doing that? I gotta see, yo. <laughs> you don't know. See, I don't watch that, oh, so I don't know. See, pimps is out here fucking these girls route, and they don't turn to porn stores. No, man. They have. And, and on Harry Hines, Harry that's Hines. That's their girlfriends. That ain't. They, they, all of them are girlfriends. Listen, I spend yeah. a lot more time with them than everybody yeah. else. Yeah. I see, I thought I was pimping, but I was really was just getting girlfriends. I remember heard about you and yeah, your pimping. Yeah, man, back in my day, back in my day, I was pimping, 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 pimping. I got How you pimping? You wasn't making, you wasn't giving them to nobody else? Who? Yeah, I was. I was the king of back then. And they're bringing you money. Yeah, man, this one girl, listen, in 2008, right, she said, she said in my car, and I met her at Cirque. Well, she said, Dad, I want you nah, to. Nah, she said, I said, I met her at Cirque. And we was out kicking it all night long. And I was like, damn, I gotta get a hotel. And I was in my Honda. And so she was like. You were homeless. I was, yeah, I was in my Honda. Now, and I, wasn't, I was homeless, but I wasn't homeless at because I could go back to my mom. I couldn't take her to City Hill, my mom. Had. <laughs> my mom would be looking at me crazy with this ghetto girl. I heard they tattoo, smoke <laughs> cigarettes. And she went to Skyline, too, so she, you know, she was from the hood. So he was like, I go over here. Over here, it was over here in Hines. So she said, it was at that 7 Eleven. She said, Stop at this 7 Eleven. Drop me off. And I'll meet you over there by the shells with the La Quinta. So she said, she said Go sit at the La Quinta parking lot and I'm going to come. So I'm like, All right. So about two hours, come back. She came back about $500. Damn. And I was like, Damn, girl, where you get that from? I thought she stole it or something. And then she put it in my hand. And ain't nothing, and it, it wasn't, and nothing was the same. And you kept her by your side the whole time. I loved her. <laughs> <laughs>